This brief video will show you how to create your TAC and share it with the rest of the class on a TAC board. First, go to TAC.com and register for a new account or log into your existing account. Now to create your TAC, click on the green pencil in the upper right corner. I'm going to select a blank canvas, which will just give me a blank page to get started with. So this is my blank canvas in TAC. I'm going to get started by adding my banner that I created in Canva to the top. To do that, in the black toolbar, I'm going to click on the camera icon or the photo button. And now I'll click upload at the top to upload my file and click open. Once my course banner appears, I'm going to click the blue done button. And now my banner is at the top of the page. Next, I'm going to embed my Animoto or Adobe Voice video just below that. First, I'll show you how to embed an Animoto video. First, I need to be sure that I have the link to my Animoto video copied to my clipboard. To get that link, go to Animoto.com, log into your account, and click on My Videos on the left. Locate the video that you want to embed and click on it. On the right side, click on Link. Click Copy to Clipboard. The URL is now copied to my clipboard and I can now go back to TAC. To add my video to this page, I'm going to click on the webcam icon or the video button in the black toolbar just below my course banner. Now I want to pull in a video from Animoto, so I'll click Animoto, and in the box at the top, I'm going to erase the existing URL that's there and paste the one to my video that's already copied to my clipboard. When my video appears, I click Done. Now to include an Adobe Voice video in your TAC, the process is a little different. First, in a separate tab or window, open your Adobe Voice video. At the top of the screen, highlight the URL for your video and copy it to your computer's clipboard. Go back to your TAC, and this time, instead of clicking on Video like we did for Animoto, you're going to click on the Media button, which is a plus sign. In the box, paste the URL to your Adobe Voice video and click the blue Embed button. Third, I'm going to post a title just below my Animoto video by clicking on the Headline button in the black toolbar. This headline will be My Reflections About Humanizing. Now I can click on the gear icon to the right and either delete that heading or change the color of it, or adjust the font size. I can also make it centered. Now there's one more thing that I need to add before I'm finished, and that would be my reflections. So I will click on the text button in that black toolbar and start to type my reflections here until I'm finished. Now there are a few more things you can do to customize your TAC page. Over on the right side, if you don't see the palette that appears on my screen here, click on this arrow and it will expand the palette for you. That palette allows you to change the colors of your tack. If you click on the second icon that says fonts, you can change the fonts on your page. Now I'll click on patterns at the top and I can add in a pattern to that background if I want. The last thing you need to do before you publish your TAC is to go to Options. And this is important or we won't be able to see your TAC. Be sure it is set to Public like it is here. Under TAC Boards, this is what you'll want to type. Humanize OL. Once that tag is added into your TAC Boards area, your TAC will appear on the TAC Board with everyone else's from the class. That's really all you need to do. You could add a customized URL if you'd like here and leave the comment stream on so others can comment on your TAC. Now, at the bottom, click Publish TAC. You can close this box, and once you close that box, you'll see your published TAC. And this is the URL that you can share with anyone very easily. And if you want to see if you tagged your TAC correctly, you can simply go to the URL tac.com board slash humanizeol.